and welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today we're going to do something that, that should have been done last week, last month, the month before. We have not been in the white and the blue hive since April. They're on the front row here. They're the Langstroth hives, not the bee barns, and I have neglected them. So we're going to see what happens when you neglect the beehive for two months. Anyways, it's 90 degrees out here. It's like 9.45 in the morning. Humidity is at 80%. So it's going to be a hot day. I think there's supposed to be some rain later on today. So I wanted to get out here and get this done early. So forgive the bright light. I'm probably glowing from all of the uh, all of the sun hit me. I can't see you. I'm hoping that you can see me. But there you go. Anyways, let me get my uh, my smoker lit and we'll get started. All right. I want to start out by saying that I'm pretty certain that both of these hives are queen right. The, the landing boards look healthy on both hives. Now I haven't been in here. There might be uh, they may have been taken over by hive beetles. They may have been taken over by wax moths. They may be just fine. We're gonna find out, but but from looking at them from the outside, they all look they all look good. So let them know we're coming. Actually, let's check the bottom board. Oh, okay. So this hive doesn't have the insert in it. I don't know why I never put the insert in it, but this hive does not have an insert. So chances are this hive is gonna have a lot of beetles in it. Let's see. Let's just get in. Hi, right, girls. Oh, we do have a queen excluder on here still. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned now. I don't know what I'm going to find. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, so I'm pretty certain that, that, that this top box is good. We've got a queen excluder. I gave them only seven frames last time. And I know that uh, just by looking at it, one, two, three, four, five of them are filled with honey. This one and this one are just drawn out. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this box. There's nothing really to see here. They all look healthy. It's a full bee box, but, but I think we're in good shape. Here we go. All right. That is a full super. And this is a full hive. Holy moly. Hello, girls. Did I tell you it's 90 degrees and 80% humidity? It's supposed to rain today. So let's hope none of these girls want to put the old stingeroni on me here. Hello. Hello. Holy moly. All right, girls. So far, it looks like they've done well for themselves. Now, I don't recall whether or not we uh, whether or not we painted the queen. Guess we're going to find out. Hello. 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 Okay, let's have a look. Everybody, stay chill. Stay chill. Okay, this is a very heavy frame. This is uh, this is a honey frame. Okay, almost capped on that side, and completely capped on that side. So let's move this out of the way. Now this is not a bee barn, but this is a double brood nest. And I have to say that what, from what I've seen so far, this looks good. I mean, I don't see. I don't see any hive beetles running around, which is what I thought for sure I would find in here. I thought, that's, uh, I, thought I would open this thing up and it would be beetle geddon, but uh, it's not. Okay, now this is a light frame with a little bit of drone brood on the bottom of it. Oh, and I see some open larva, and I see milk brood. Okay, we may have a queen on this frame. I see milk brood on it. Okay, we have girls with pollen on their legs on here. Let me tell you this. Okay, we have eggs all over this frame. Okay, we may have a queen on this frame. I don't see her. But that doesn't mean she's not here. But holy moly, they are laying on the very last frame in the upper box. This is a very strong hive. So far, these girls are being so calm. Holy moly. Well, 
Honestly, I expected this, this hog to be a little hot. I can tell you this, so far it's looking very good. Hello. Hello, let me in. Another fairly light frame. Oh, I see a chewed out queen cell. Some queen cups. We may have a uh, new queen in here. But if we do, she's laying. I can tell you that. There she is, and she's not marked, so we are going to mark her. She's right there. Okay, here we go. Get in the middle where I can see you. Get in the middle. There we go. Oh, you're still moving. Watch out. Watch out, girls. There we go. Lift it up a little bit so you can walk around. Put you in ye old cage. There you go. You sit right there for now. You dry off. Excellent. Can I tell you how happy this makes me? This makes me very happy. New queen. She's laying up a storm. This box is full. I don't see any beetles, any pests. I have absolutely no need to go down a level. I'm very, very pleased with this hive. Holy moly. Okay. Let's set you back over here so that you can get back down on your own frame as soon as I let you go. Let me tell you, for a neglected hive, this hive is spectacular. No stinging. No stinging and no smashing. We want happiness. Tranquility. We're going to let her sit there a minute and dry. Great job. Great job. White hive. Okay, as soon as you dry off, you can come out. Very soon, very soon. Let's open this up. And we'll see if the queen will walk out. There she goes. Okay, she's back in the brood nest. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this hive up. I'm very, 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 very happy with this little, uh, this little white hive. All right, now we're gonna jump into the blue hive and I hope it's just as good. All right, so if I remember correctly, back in April, the last time I was in this hive, it was the weaker of the two hives. And that's why I've got the blue tape on the bottom. It was designed to act as a propolis seal so that these girls didn't have to let hive beetles in and or cold air. So unless I have to get down there, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. I'm just hoping that this hive's in the same shape as the white hive. Let's get inside and take a look. Okay, so this is their bottom board. It's uh, kind of concerning, and I'll tell you why. Um, this right here, these look like wax moth eggs. And there's a lot, there's some wax moth cocoons right there. There's three of them. That's terrible. So we know that there have been wax moths down in the bottom board. Now, does that mean they've gotten into the hive? Not necessarily. It means they probably came in through the back. But I've got uh, wax moth cocoons. There's two more. So I've got, I've got five wax moth cocoons right there. Let's hope there are no wax moths in the hive. That'll just be terrible. I mean, that'll be bad. It's been so long since I've been in this hive. Let me show you something. I don't want to have to move the cameras. So I'll just take a picture and put it on the screen. It's been so long since I've been in this hive that there's actual spider webs on the back of the hive. That is not good. Holy moly. Primo Disgusto. All right, let's look for some bees. 
Hello. Please be as strong as the white hive, please. Oh, you, oh, you're looking good. Now there is no queen excluder on this hive. So I do want to make sure that I do not have a queen here, and I do not. Now this top box appears to be all honey. I really don't know whether I should pull a frame, because I remember what happened to me last week. I pulled a frame back there on the marine hive, broke open some honey, and that wasn't good. That pretty much ended my inspection, and I do want to find the queen. And if this box is all honey, chances are the queen is not here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down a level. If I don't find the queen, I'll come back and I'll inspect this box. Holy moly, they're making propolis now. Son of a gun. Hello, ladies. Or as Fezzik says. Hello, lady. You know who Fezzik is? I don't know whether you've ever seen it. I guess we have movie time in all the videos now. I've been watching a lot of lot of movies, nostalgic stuff, trying to, trying to feel good. And uh, my son, my daughter, and I, we watched uh, Princess Bride again, and that's just a great, great... If you've never seen a Princess Bride, great movie. Great movie. Oh, oh man, this is a full box of honey. Yep. Oh, and I just broke it open everywhere there when I tore it apart. Man, I tell you, I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but I still have to get in here. I'm sorry, girls. I'm sorry, I'll try to I'll try to not disturb those frames. Let me just try to find a queen on this side or some eggs or or something. Maybe this is just a complete honey box and I can I can just go on down. No, I think I see brood on that frame right there. Well we're gonna start on this end. Hello, I didn't mean to break open your honey. I didn't mean to. But when you neglect the hive for a couple of months. This is what happens. They start building bridge comb and they start making a, a true hive out of it. The way that they would like it as opposed to the way that I would like it. And uh, it's not so neat anymore. Alright, what do we have here? Hello, ladies. Alright, well that, that frame is 100% uh, honey and pollen. It's a complete resource frame. On both sides. We know these girls have something to eat. So uh, let's look at another another frame here. Just want to see some brood. I don't necessarily have to find the queen here. I really don't want to tear up any more honeycomb if I don't have to. Okay, this is a very light frame. No honey on it. And we have we have milk brood in there. I don't know whether you can see it. We do have milk brood in there. We may actually have a queen on this frame. Let me take a look. This is almost an entire frame of brood. All uncapped. More brood on this side. I don't know whether you can see it. It's not capped. You'd have to look closely down in the cells. And I really, to be honest with you, can't tell whether or not I've got the camera angle right. So, so maybe you see it, maybe you don't. But I, I promise you it's there. Do I see a queen? I would almost expect to see her on this frame. And I do not see her. Holy moly. Okay, this hive is doing stunningly well. Okay, we're gonna pull one more frame, and then we're just gonna get out of here, and that'll, that'll be the end of the video. I know it's not a long one today, um, but uh, the goal was to check the health of these hives, and let me tell you, yeah. I'll tell you what I've seen and what I haven't seen. What I've seen is a lot of brood, a lot of food. What I haven't seen is any beetles, any pests, any moths. I don't see any, any, looking down through the frames, any indication that the wax moths ever got into the hive. And that's good. Not that they could survive in this hive. Holy moly, this is a strong hive. Very, very strong. Okay, let's see what we see here. Okay, it's an entire frame of brood. Some capped, some not, but an entire frame of brood nonetheless. Holy moly. Let's see if we have a uh, queen. There's another, that's all capped on this side. Let's see if we see a queen. Okay, I do not see her, but I can tell you this, this hive is healthy. Now I'm just tempted. I want to go through one more. It's probably a bad idea. I'll probably go through this one frame and get lit up. 
every bee in the hive is up here on top of this honey trying to trying to rescue it. We really don't want to kick off a robbing situation because we are in dearth in my part of Georgia. Things have dried up. We have a lot of uh, a lot of bees at home today. If you haven't noticed, not out in the fields working. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can find a queen. One more brood. What do we have happening here? Oh yeah, beautiful frame. A lot of capped and uncapped brood. Do not see a queen there. Okay, this is uh, milk brood, capped brood, and eggs on there. And I don't see a queen. Chances are she ran to the bottom when uh, when I broke it when I broke this thing open and smoked it. But I tell you. She's in there. We're not going to go any further. I don't want to. I don't want to damage their comb any further. This hive. This hive is doing surprisingly well. Both of these hives are. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe the key is to not get in your hives a lot. Let me just tell you. Um, I haven't been in these hives since April. April, and these hives are strong. They're both very, very strong. They both, both have a lot of resources in them. The bees all look very healthy. I don't see any crinkly wings. I don't see any, I don't see any sign of distress in this hive at all. Okay, well, I do not have to break open the blue tape. I guess that is a good thing. Okay, ladies, come down. Nobody get underneath the, uh, the lip there. And the hammer falls, the hammer falls. It has fallen. All right, there you go. There we go. Be beautiful. All right, well, there you go. The end of another adventure. So I guess we found out what happens when you uh, neglect your hives for a couple of months. They get strong and turn into super hives. Well, at, least, at least that's what happened to me. Um, anyways, the white and the blue hive, they're in great shape. Very, very strong. Found a brand new queen in the white hive. Didn't find a queen, but evidence of a queen in the blue hive. And what I did not find in the hive was any pests. I did not find any hive beetles or wax moths in the hive. Now the blue hive had some wax moth, wax moth casings, cocoons on the uh, on the bottom board. Dispatched those. Those were in good shape, and I saw no evidence of wax moths in that hive. So I'm pretty sure that we are in good shape there. So there you go. That brings us to the end of another adventure. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. We try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. All that said, be happy, have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Take care.